don't know my name is Maya Karen I run a fashion blog called classically kept it does feature luxury contemporary and how to style and now natural hair care so if you are into that go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you will never miss a video so as y'all know um, a couple of weeks ago I think we're at about three and a half weeks now I did buy another bag to add to my handbag collection it is the Tory Burch Eleanor Crock effect bag so we're going to go ahead and get into the review okay so here it is it is the Tory Burch Eleanor bag I did get this color and then I did get it in the crock effect with the gold hardware so this bag was $7.98 retail so of course the short story if you want the full story you'll see right up here where I will link when I first unboxed it Basically, I had been stalking this bag too long. If you follow my channel, you know that I stalk things um, online. I had been stalking this bag too long, went on the website, didn't see it, went to my local Tory Burch, they didn't have it, came back, got on eBay. It was the very first bag that popped up and I've been waiting on it and now I have it and now it's time to review it. So again, it is this bag right here. So we went over the price, we went over the short story. So let's first get into the durability and weight of this bag. So for me personally, anything over $500 is when we start to me, start getting in the realm of luxury. This is my first Tory Burch bag. These are her earrings. Now, while they are clip-ons, they hurt. So I will probably only have them on for a short a while. They are made very well. I do also have a pair of shoes from her. Very ornate, very beautiful, gorgeously made. There's, this bag did not disappoint. It wasn't so much that I was stalking it because of the price. I just wanted to make sure that I was going to get what I paid for. The bag quality is outstanding. I mean, I would say that the bag quality of this is probably going to rival maybe like a YSL or a Fendi. Okay, so the next question, is this bag durable? I am probably one of the best people to answer this question. I try so hard to baby my shoes and my purses, but it just never happens because I am a klutz and I am hard on my shoes. I try not to be hard on my bags, but it seems like the more cautious I am about it, the more damage or the more things I actually do to the bag. So let, let me say this. For a, klutz, my, for a klutz like me and for a regular person, the bag is durable. Yes, it looks great. Yes, it looks gorgeous. And let me get a little bit closer. And, you know, as I'm sitting here, I will do this and you're not really seeing anything. You know, you can't take like a hammer or a knife to it or like some serious nails and just start digging at it. But the bag is durable. And that's another thing that I, or one of the reasons why I fell in love with this bag. It's not only beautifully made and beautiful, it is durable, okay? And that was another one of my hangups about, you know, stocking the bag instead of just buying the bag. I wanted to make sure that it is or that it was durable. And it is. Is the bag heavy? Okay, let me say this. To me, it is not heavy. If you are a woman who loves to wear like a tote, like example, a Neverfull, the, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, you like you wear a tote, you carry your life in your bag. If you carry that, then this is not heavy. If you are a top handle girl, which I am, it might be a little heavy if you're not used to having something sit on your shoulders like that. Like I've said before, the bag is made very well. And then when you start putting things in it, that is going to add a little bit more weight to it. It will also depend on what you're putting in the purse. So my personal opinion is that it is not heavy, but you will notice that you are carrying the bag. It's not a bag that you just throw on your shoulder and you kind of forget that it's there. You'll know that it's there. Okay, so I also wanna talk about scratching. I am very klutzy. I try as far as my shoes and my bags are concerned. I try to take good care of them, but that's just how I am. I'm a klutz. Surprisingly enough, when I used to dance ballet, as soon as I would step on the stage, my klutziness would go away and then I would be the one to actually dance, not fall, and then walk off stage. And then, you know, sometimes there might be steps at the back of the stage. 
I'd be the one to fall off. I'd be the one to fall off of those steps. Okay. So when we're talking about like durability and scratch resistant, I'm probably a very good person to talk about this because there is no scratch, there is no blemish, and there's no color transfer on this bag either. That's another thing that I do want to point out. Let me get a little bit closer so I can show you. It's kind of like a shiny material and it is leather. It's all leather. So if I just take my nail and start going like this, you can hear it, but it doesn't scratch. You know, now I'm not going to take a knife or I'm not going to take my nail and just go like that, but it's pretty durable. Okay. Now, as far as color transfer is concerned, I don't wear jeans. I don't have a jean skirt, so I, I'm not able to tell you about that because I do know that most of like your dyes and then your jeans, like especially when you're wearing this, most people are going to be concerned about the color transfer I haven't really seen any color transfer I've been wearing this with all the all different types of colors all different types of materials the bag is very durable okay now color transfer we talked about that let's talk about I guess it might be an elephant in the room when it comes to these bags and when it comes to their strap okay this right here it is all metal there is no like leather inside it's it's all metal there's no like quote unquote cushion for it so i guess the question would be does this bag dig into your skin or does it dig into like the crux of your shoulder let me say this for me it does not um and i have worn this like bare shoulder and with things on clearly if i'm wearing this you know i won't be able to you know put it on my shoulder so much but to me, it does not. What fits inside this bag? So this bag does come in two sizes. This is the regular size, and then it comes in like a small size. So that would probably be the equivalent to like a Chanel square or Chanel rectangle mini. I tried that one on in the store, and it was just too small. For what I wanted for this bag to kind of be like an everyday bag, it just didn't fit enough, okay? So I also don't carry my entire life in my bags, so let me just show you what I have in here now. Now, I am actually recording this with my phone. I have an 11, I don't have the plus, I have the regular. So I would just typically fit that right in here, okay? And then I have some lotion that I stole from a hotel. I have the keys to David's car. Then I have my keys. Then I have my chapstick from Nivea. Then I have my Chanel mirror. Then I have one, two masks. COVID is still out and about. I understand people have been vaccinated, but I will be wearing my mask for a while. Okay, and then I have right here, I have all of my cards. Now, let me point something out to you as far as this is concerned. Um, and I don't know if it's, you know, a question like where have you put things particularly, but when you're wearing this bag, to me, naturally, let me stand up. So when you're wearing this bag naturally, you can open it one hand, with one hand. Your hand is naturally, which it just did, is going to go into this larger section right here. Now, you will notice that in the back, you have right here the zippers. I am assuming that that's where they assume or that's where they would have wanted you to put your cards. But again, like I stated before, I am a klutz. So if I'm having every single time to pull out my ID or my card and go in here, chances are that I'm more than likely going to cut myself. So I keep all of my stuff right here. So when I'm wearing this bag, I have just trained myself now to just go like this and that I'm able to get to all of my cards, okay? Now, the only other things that are not in this bag because they're upstairs are my headphones and then my smaller version of Vaseline. Yes, I wear Vaseline. I don't care if it's ratchet, I don't care if it's ghetto. It's the thing that keeps my lips the most moisturized, okay? One of my pet peeves, besides panty lines, <laughs> and no edges is uh dry lips i cannot stand having dry lips if i was on a lot if i was on an island and i could only bring two things first would be my husband and the second like an essential it would be chapstick i do not like chapped lips okay so yes i just wanted to show you that it's actually still pretty there's you can still get some 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 more stuff in there so if you were like a vlogger you could fit a camera like right here i don't think this could actually fit an ipad or an ipad mini 
But like I said, I don't carry my entire life in my bag, so it suits everything that I need. So the next thing that I want to cover is, is the bag practical? For me, I would say yes. Number one, it carries very well. It goes well, goes well with very many outfits. And number three, it's very easy to get in and out of. And let me show you right here. It's actually a magnet, it's actually magnetic. And I actually prefer that more than my Chanel because with the Chanel, you know, you have the, um, the clasp so you have to turn it. And really when I'm wearing that bag, I just leave it open to be honest. But yes, this bag is very practical, okay? And you can wear it many different ways. Okay, now another question, because um, I'm trying to cover everything that I could possibly think of in this video. Another question or another thing I want to address is this chain and whether or not it smells. Have you ever had like a bag that has a chain attached to it where you can take it on and off or a piece of jewelry or like a hair piece that begins to smell, um, it's made of metal and it begins to smell maybe like after a couple of weeks and then when you start touching it, that smell is actually left on your hands. And that is more so of like your cheaper metals. This chain doesn't smell, um, yeah. It doesn't smell and I was kind of has that was probably another reason why I was hesitant to buy this bag but again at the price point that we're talking about you're you should not be walking around with a smelly bag so no the chain does not smell okay and then the last thing is do I love the bag would I buy it again number one absolutely love the bag I get compliments every single time I have been out with it I have probably worn this bag Let's see, it's been about three and a half weeks. I have probably worn this bag, I would say at least two to three times a week. Even like when I'll go to Harris Teeter and get my, my Starbucks, it's this bag that I've been carrying. Y'all know that I've been carrying also that pearl bag that I got from Amazon. It's really been either or, the pearl bag or it's been this one. So yes, I love the bag. Would I buy it again? I would buy this absolutely 100% yes. What I am hoping is that she will come out with new colors for her fall and winter collection, okay? And then the next thing I would like to address is really like just the overall score. I'm going to give this bag a nine out of 10. The only reason this bag is not a 10 for me, I am 5'2", is because I typically wear it double strap, but the only reason why it's not a 10 is because when you wear it single strap, it comes all the way down here. I am too short for that. So maybe, maybe when I start wearing it during fall and winter, because I really don't decipher between my bags. Now, of course, I'm not going to be wearing a wicker bag in the winter, but a bag like this, I know I will wear it like that. It just sits way too low. So what I'm thinking or hoping is that maybe when I wear it crossbody and then I have to throw on a coat, it might take it up just a little bit more. Probably not. But... Then again, during the winter, I will probably still carry it double strap. But that is really the only reason why this bag is not a 10, okay? I plan on adding another one of these to my collection, whether it be for the warmer months or whether it be for the cooler months, okay? So that is this bag. That is my first, very first handbag review. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this bag. As far as I know, it is sold out online. They are no longer in the stores. They do have the smaller one, and then they also have the walk on chain. I'm sorry, wallet on chain, which is a walk. That's what I was getting ready to say. But yeah, I do know that those two are still available. This one is not. Again, I did have to go on eBay. But I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all know that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then, of course, you know, right here, I will put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye.